Cryogenic temperatures. Introduction. What is cryogenics? Demonstration 1. Liquid nitrogen. For this demonstration, you will need a large duo of liquid nitrogen, gloves, goggles, a 10 ounce clear plastic cup, and observation sheets for each student. Pour a small amount of liquid nitrogen into the 10 ounce cup. Wear gloves and goggles when pouring. Have students draw their observations on the observation sheet. Demonstration 2. Hammering with a banana. For this demonstration, you will need the large doer of liquid nitrogen, a small doer, a wood block, a nail, a banana, and gloves. Attempt to hammer the nail into the board with the banana. Fill the small doer about two-thirds full with liquid nitrogen. Put the banana in the small doer. When two to three minutes have passed, use the glove to pull the banana out of the liquid nitrogen. Hammer the nail into the board using the frozen banana. Demonstration 3. Rubber tubing and liquid nitrogen. For this demonstration, you will need liquid nitrogen, a small door, tongs, rubber tubing, gloves, and goggles. Hold up a piece of split rubber tubing and demonstrate how flexible it is by bending it back and forth. Take two pieces of split rubber tubing and bend in half at the middle. While holding the pieces of tubing together at the open ends, immerse the bent portions into the liquid nitrogen for about one minute. Take the pieces of rubber tubing out and put one piece aside to warm up to room temperature. Have safety goggles on for this part. Take the other piece and quickly and forcefully hit the cold end up against the top of the table. This should pick up the rubber tubing that was allowed to warm to room temperature and show the students that it is flexible again. Demonstration 4. Whistling tea kettle. For this demonstration, you will need liquid nitrogen, a small doer, ladle, gloves, and a whistling tea kettle. Use the ladle to put some liquid nitrogen into the kettle. Ask students to explain why the kettle is whistling. Shrinking a balloon. For this demonstration, you will need a small doer of liquid nitrogen, a bowl, and an inflated balloon. Place the inflated balloon in the bowl. Pour a small amount of liquid nitrogen over the balloon. The balloon will shrink and crackle as it gets cold. Ask students to predict what will happen when you pull the balloon out of the bowl. Use a glove and remove the deflated balloon from the bowl. Students will observe the balloon inflate and return to its original state. Demonstration 5. Reconstituting dry ice. For this demonstration, you will need gloves, a balloon, dry ice, liquid nitrogen, water, a plastic Coke bottle, a 10-ounce clear plastic cup, and scissors. Place several small pieces of dry ice into the plastic Coke bottle. Pour six ounces of water into the bottle of dry ice. Place a balloon over the bottle.
the balloon will fill up with carbon dioxide. When the balloon is a little bigger than a softball, remove it from the bottle and tie a knot at the end. Place the balloon into the stainless steel bowl and pour liquid nitrogen over it. Once the balloon is deflated, lift it out of the bowl and cut it open with scissors. Pour the dry ice into the clear plastic cup and show the students that the CO2 gas has returned to dry ice. Demonstration 7, making ice cream with liquid nitrogen. No, this video shows only a partial box of ice cream. Use the whole box and a quart of milk when teaching in the classroom. For this demonstration, you'll need a stirring spoon, a quart of milk, a box of ice cream mix, and gloves. For each student, you will need a small cup and a taster spoon. Open the ice cream mix and pour it into the large bowl. Pour about half the quart of milk into the bowl and stir. Have one VSVS volunteer slowly pour about one pint of liquid nitrogen into the bowl while the other volunteer stirs the mixture. Add the second half of the quart of milk and stir. Slowly add more liquid nitrogen. Stop if any of the liquid turns solid. If the ice cream becomes too hard, wait a few minutes for it to soften. Serve a small amount of ice cream into each small cup with a taster spoon. Enjoy.